Hello guys, once again welcome to my channel. Today what we are going to do is something different. Since we were solving many password questions, then I thought that we should take a break from our path paper session and we should just understand all the concepts of the chemistry first so that whenever we have queries or clarification in our mind related to um, all the concepts of the chemistry, so we can have a clear understanding of how we can solve that password question. And these notes, I I, um, I recommend you to learn these notes. These notes will help you a lot. And the second thing, we are only going to follow the IGCSC syllabus. You can see here now. I'm going to show you now. One minute. Uh, yeah, yeah, here you can see. Today, we are going to only follow the IGCSC syllabus. And we are going to start off with our first chapter, which is the particulate nature of matter. And in this video, I'm not going to explain all, all of them. But we are going to only learn today about the distinguishing properties of solids, liquids, and gases, which comes under the kinetic theory. And later, we are also going to, in later, in later videos, we are going to learn about state changes, um, evaporation, Brownian motion, diffusion, all these in detail. So stay tuned for that. So without wasting any time, let us get started with our first concept, which is the distinguishing properties of liquids and gases. Okay, so first question, the most frequent, uh, the most frequent question asked to students is what? What is a matter? What is a matter? A matter is any substance that occupies physical space. The kinetic theory of matter states that matter is made up of tiny particles, atoms, and molecules, and they are all always in constant motion. So each thing around you, each object around you, is made up of matter. Is made up of atoms, tiny particles. There, are, there could be atoms and molecules, and these. These tiny particles are always in constant motion. Now, moving on to our third, uh, third point, which is the main point. Now, there are three states of matter that we should be familiar with. That are solids, liquids, and gases. As I told you before, we are only going to learn about their distinguishing properties. And in further videos, we are going to learn about how this change their state, etc., etc. So, moving on to the property of solids. Firstly, we should be familiar with the arrangement of solids, liquids, and gases. Now, here you can see their arrangement, how, so, how the arrangement of solids look like, how the arrangement of liquids look like, how the arrangement of gases look like. Because from this diagram, anyone can tell of you. Anyone of you can tell me that solids, they are particles are packed um, fixedly. Liquids, particles are packed loosely. Gases, particles are packed very loosely. They are in random movement. Anyone of you can say because we have been learning um, I think since third or fourth grade, I don't remember. But we all have come across this information. That is a basic information we should know. Firstly, what is a matter? And secondly, their arrangement. Now, we are going to learn about these states of matter in more detail. So, stay tuned. Uh, so, uh, let us get in detail, uh, more in more detail. So, let's go for solids first. So, um, you can see here, solids... What are the distinguishing properties? Strong forces of attraction between particles. Particles are packed very closely together in a fixed and irregular pattern. Atoms vibrate in position but can't change position or move. These solids have a fixed volume, shape and high density. So, solids have particles that are packed closely together. The atoms are arranged in regular pattern. Why they are arranged in regular pattern? Because it is due to the strong attractive forces that exist between the particles. These particles therefore cannot move, okay, they don't have the ability to move because they are um, arranged in a fixed regular pattern, they are packed very closely together and we can't, um, we can't move them, uh, they, they cannot move their own self and these particles therefore cannot move, instead they, vib they vibrate constantly on the spot, so whenever we heat them, they start vibrating more and more, but we will learn this in detail in our further videos, okay, so this is the this is all about solids. You need to have information according to the IGCSC syllabus. So learn these notes, print them. I will be uploading these notes at the end of our last concept, which is about. Let me just tell you, which is about, um, uh, which is about diffusion. So after completing this this part of the syllabus, we will be. I will be uploading the notes for this unit. And you should, I recommend you to learn these notes, keep a hard copy, print a hard copy or um, store it in a computer on trusted, uh, trusted source. Um, these notes will help you a lot. It might be for the uh, upcoming October number series or it might be 
for if you're starting with grade 10, that will be very helpful. Start learning these notes. I believe that uh, if you learn these notes, this will help you a lot and you will be scoring A stars. Anyways, we'll stick to the topic. Moving on to the properties of liquids. Now, liquids, weaker attractive forces in liquids. Then in solids, particles are close together in an irregular and fixed pattern. Now, you can see the statement. If you see the diagram, if you see the arrangement of liquids, you can see here what is the difference between the arrangement of solids and liquids. Solids, the particles are packed very closely. And here, the particles are packed closely, but they are not fixed. In, in an unfixed manner, they are packed. Right? So particles can move and slide past each other, which is why liquids are out of the shape of the container they are in and also why they're able to flow. For example, uh, if you pour water or if you pour milk into a circular cup, into, into, a circle, into a spherical cup or a circular cup, it will take a shape of that. It will become circular or spherical in shape. That is why we say they are out of the shape of the container they are in and also why they're able to flow. These liquids have a fixed volume, but not a fixed shape and have a, high, a moderate to high density. Okay. Now, these liquids, they have particles that are loosely arranged, okay? This means that they can, they can move past one another. They therefore take up, with, take up the shape of the container they are in. Particles themselves are constantly moving in constant random motion, okay? This is the information you need to be familiar with. Don't go to my explanations, okay? Just be familiar with all these notes. With all these notes, if you want to score A star in your exam, I recommend you. To start learning these notes because I've started this recently I've started my channel and this will help you a lot okay moving on to liquids uh, get moving on to gases sorry um, now gases there are no intermolecular forces particles are in random movement and so there's no defined pattern okay firstly moving uh, before we move on to other points I would like to tell you what we mean by intermolecular forces so these intermolecular forces they are the weak attractive forces which act between the molecules these forces are much weaker than the covalent bonds. Covalent bonds will be learning, ionic bonds will be learning. Don't be, don't be, don't worry about these concepts. We'll be learning these in more detail. For now, I'm just telling you what are these intermolecular forces. Okay, when simple molecular substances such as carbon dioxide or methane, when they melt or boil, it is these weak intermolecular forces that are overcome to allow molecules to break, lose, and move. So whenever we heat a simple molecular substance, uh, what happens, these, we, uh, these are the weak attractive forces, these uh, which act between the molecules, they break easily and the covalent bonds are much stronger. So then break, uh, what, what are breaking when our, what, what are breaking when we heat them are the weak attractive forces you should be familiar with. So you should be familiar with uh, this also that what are these intermolecular forces. It might be asked in your exam. Um, okay, so be familiar with this. Uh, moving on to gases. Now moving on to other points, particles are far apart and move quickly around 500 meters per second in all the directions. This is additional information, 500 meters per second in all directions, but I recommend you to learn these notes so you have a clear idea of what's going on, what, is, what are the distinguishing properties of solids, liquids and gases, how they move, how they behave. We need to know. Okay, moving on. They collide with each other. I mean, the size of the container. This is how pressure is treated inside of it's inside a kind of gas. So, what happens when you heat these? When you keep, for example, when you heat a uh, container of gas, they become they move randomly. They collide with the size of wall of the container. And what will happen? You will create a pressure inside a kind of gas. You will become. You will be knowing about these in more detail. Moving on. No fixed volume since there are a lot since there are a lot of space between particles. Gases can be compressed into a much smaller volume. Gases have low density. Now, what else we should know about gases? Okay, for now we already know that gases have particles that are very far apart. Again, the particles will be moving in constant random motion and also they take up the shape of its container. Unlike solids and liquids, gases can be compressed. Okay. So this is the, these are the things you need to know about all there are all the things that you need to know about the three states of matter solid liquids and gases according to syllabus i'm teaching you according to the syllabus trust me these notes are perfect for you download these notes start learning these notes these notes will help you a lot and if you are giving if you're going giving an exam for the upcoming october universities or else if you are starting off with grade 10 uh, then these notes will be very helpful for you this is the end of our concept we have already covered with all the concepts uh, with all the with the first concept 
which is about the distinguishing properties of solids, liquids, and gases. These notes I'll be uploading at the end of our uh, last concept, which is about diffusion. I, I believe that one minute, guys. Let me just check. Yeah, it's about diffusion. Just um, to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below. And press the bell icon on so you don't miss any videos. Stay tuned for my further videos in my in which I'm going to explain further concepts in detail. Thank you and have a nice day.